Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Kevin. And in this week's video, we want to talk about three updates to Cisco's CCIE certification. We'll talk about their new BYOD, or Bring Your Own Device option, where in some instances, you can take your own laptop that you're already comfortable with into the lab environment and take your lab on your laptop. We'll talk about Cisco's new Practice Labs option where you can rent some rack time with full-blown Practice Labs, including equipment that we might not have in our home lab like DNA Center. And we'll talk about recertification. Once you get your CCIA, how do you keep your CCIA? What does that look like? How long is recertification good for? What are some options for getting recertified? We'll talk about all of that in this video. And as always, if you enjoy this content, please click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly content. Now, let's jump into the first update, and that is BYOD, Bring Your Own Device, where you can take your own laptop, in some cases, into the lab. And this is great for people that get comfortable with their keyboard and their mouse. You can take your laptop, keyboard, mouse, and even an external monitor to give you a better view into the lab environment but you're not gonna be running uh, the operating system on your laptop. You're gonna be given a bootable USB flash drive on the day of the lab, and that's gonna boot you up into a Linux environment. Specifically, it's gonna be a flavor of Ubuntu, and you're not gonna be able to escape out of that environment for the duration of the lab. And if you are taking an external keyboard and mouse, no wireless allowed, no Bluetooth, you have to have a wired keyboard and a wired mouse. And some laptops might not have enough USB ports to accommodate an external keyboard and mouse and this bootable flash drive. So if that's your case, you are allowed to bring in one external USB hub and plug everything into that. And at this point, the BYOD program is small, but it's growing. But it's only going to be available at specific BYOD mobile events. Most mobile labs use what are called Cisco kits, not where you can bring in your own device. But the availability of BYOD is going to be growing. If you are able to bring your own device, you're going to save some money. The uh, BYOD mobile lab is $1,600 compared to $1,900 for a mobile lab using the Cisco kit. And if you'd like more information on this, including uh, the mobile event schedules that support BYOD, along with a couple of video tutorials to show you how to create your own USB flash drive so you can practice in that environment, you can go to cisco.com slash go slash BYOD labs. Next up is Practice Labs. Here you can use Cisco as your rack rental vendor and they're going to have pods of devices ranging from about 20 to 30 devices per pod. Not every pod is identical. But this is going to be great for giving us access to some of that harder to access equipment, such as DNA Center. You're going to be able to rent a four hour block of time for $50. And at the time of this recording, Cisco has practice labs available for the enterprise infrastructure and security tracks. But they have announced that they're going to be rolling out practice labs for other tracks. And another advantage of using Cisco's racks for your practice labs. It's going to be the same LDS, the same lab delivery system you're going to be facing in the real thing. But please be aware that these labs are not open to the public. You have to be on the path to get your CCA. In fact, you have to validate your current CCA status, such as entering your exam ID for the written exam that you took. And if you want some more information on the practice labs and you want to go out and check your CCA status and book a lab, you can go out to cisco.com slash go slash CCA practice labs. And finally, let's talk recertification. Once you get your CCA, you probably want to keep it. So how do we recertify? Well, here's a pretty big update. When I first got my CCA, and for many years after that, that certification and then my subsequent recertifications, they were good for two years. But now when you get your CCA, your CCA certification is valid for three years. But back when it was two years, if you let those two years lapse without recertifying, you would be in a suspended year state where you wouldn't have to go back and retake everything. You could just recertify and you would get your status back as a CCA. There is no more suspended year state. So you need to be very cautious and make sure that you get your recertification done before that three years is up. And the recertification date used to begin on the anniversary date of when you first passed your lab. You can see on screen that I passed my first CCA lab on August 3rd, 2001. And for many years after that, when I would recertify, it would extend that date, that August 3rd date, by two years. That's not the case anymore. Now, whenever you recertify, say it's June the 1st, your three-year renewal period begins right then. Cisco refers to that as their sliding window instead of using your anniversary date. 
Now, what are your options for recertifying? Many years ago, if you wanted to recertify, you had to pass the written exam for any of the CCA tracks. You've got lots more options now, though. For example, you can earn 120 continuing education credits. And if you want to see options for earning those credits, you can go to ce.cisco.com. For example, you can get credits by attending Cisco Live. Another option is to pass your CCDE, the Design Expert, written exam. Another option is you can pass any other expert level lab. But if you want to stay away from any more expert level testing, one other option is that you can pass three different professional level concentration exams. Here we're talking about Cisco's different CCNP tracks. For each track, there is a core exam, and then you get to select from an additional concentration exam to earn your CCMP in that track. Well, if you pass three different professional level concentration exams, that's going to get you recertified. Or as one other option, you can pass a core exam and one other professional level concentration exam. And those are three updates that I wanted you to know about Cisco's CCA certification. I'll see you next time. <music>